Aww. And one of the benefits of subscribing, there's a whole section that describes it to you just down below. There is a whole section to you just down below that describes all of the beautiful benefits of subbing. Mm -hmm. Oh my, so here we have some excellent 300 IQ comments from the peanut gallery. This conversation sucks. This is weird. Yikes. These are exquisite contributions to a very good conversation. And these people in chat who are making these comments do not appear as immature, childish cheapskates whatsoever. <laughs> they're just sitting here masturbating as hard as they possibly can, as quietly as they can, because their parents are in the next room talking about how disappointed they are in them. And they're like, why would I ever pay for this when this slut's giving it away for free? <laughs> you're right, buddy, you're right. <laughs> Can somebody hire you to do a voiceover? 
Uh, I don't know if you can afford me to do that. That's the other thing. You guys always want to be like, oh, but can I get your voiceover stuff? You can't afford that. If you can't afford to sub to me, you're not going to be able to afford the hundreds of dollars per hour that it costs to hire a professional voiceover artist. <laughs> do you play games sometimes? I do. Yeah. Why are you and Amaranth live at the same time? You can have two streams open at the same time. Just mute one of ours. Mute mine and watch her. <laughs> no, no, I agree with you up to comparing it to Netflix. <laughs> I've seen you on Amaranth's podcast, and you're literally the funniest shit ever. Thank you so much, Paladin. I had a lot of fun on that on that podcast. Shut up and take my money. Ali Aiken, thank you. And Hammered, Hammered Gorgon. Hammered Gorgon. So you're like a snake lady who's drunk? I want to be a snake lady who's drunk. Ali, Ali, Ali. I'm so happy you're here. Are y'all ready to have this argument? Bro, it's $5. You either sub or you don't. LOL, stop. Thank you. Very concise. It's true. Why do bad things happen to good people? <laughs> Why am I so fat? I promise I can answer all your questions. You just have to unshrink me. Well, that would take some sort of revigilator. <laughs> the concept is so hilarious. It makes you want to laugh. But not at you, oh, great powerful leader. With the revengefulness and the wrathfulness. And... Does anyone know what quotes I'm doing? Did you get the whole deal? Did I do it right? No one got it? That's fine. Why sub when you can be gifted a sub? <laughs> What is the quadratic equation? Oh, I have no idea. I did not even pass. I no, it was Simpsons. It was Simpsons. It was a Treehouse of Horror episode where Lisa creates the little tub dwellers. All this talk about subs is making me hungry for a sandwich. <laughs> what is the name of your podcast? I don't have a podcast. No podcast yet. No yet. Do you have Snapchat or Patreon? No, that's not for me. Yeah, if you want them, you can find other ones, which are probably going to be more entertaining than mine would. You are so much energy all the time, and I mean really. No, not all the time. No, not all the time. I think I'm just, like, riding a really great high because I've been playing the fuck out of Animal Crossing, and I got my island just, like, so beautiful and so sexy and so well put together. It's literally just making my life better. It's just making my life so much better. Uh, since you do voices, what impressions can you do? So, I love that. I love when you're a voiceover artist and immediately people are like, so show me what you can do. Uh, it doesn't work like that, baby boy. <gasps> hey. Uh-uh. Do you need a timeout? Hey. Do you need a timeout? Uh, I stream part-time. I don't stream full-time. Hey. This is the troublemaker. This troublemaker right here. Your community is too kind. I get gifted before I can sub. <laughs> there are. There's a lot of really, um, the good people who are good in my community, I, and this is controversial, I'll debate you, I believe are head and shoulders better than, like, the best people in anyone else's community. I think I have the most diamonds in the rough here. But I think there's a lot of rough. I think Amaranth's community also has quite a bit of rough. Do you watch the TV show Community? No, not really, no. <laughs> Today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. It's my birthday very soon, too. I do love your content, your eloquent, eloquence, sorry, eloquence and level-headedness. Real life refreshing as fuck. I don't know why you're so mad that my sub is gifted. No, 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 I'm not mad that your sub is gifted. I'm just saying that you were, you were like, I think it's rude that you said that people who can't afford a $5 sub but watch a lot of Twitch are irresponsible with their money. I don't think that that's rude. And I was like, well, that's interesting that you would say that I'm being rude about it when you haven't supported me yourself and you were probably gifted a sub. So... I just was saying that it's interesting that that's the point that you would take. But thank you for gifting somebody else a sub, and now you're even, and it's good. I love how everyone on the podcast was saying how much they all wanted a blanket for it because of you. You're famous for it. Yay. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Your dog is way too fluffy. So much fluff on my dog. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Blaze. Blaze, go check out my Instagram. This is her at, I would say, on a scale of 1 to 10 of fluffiness. She's maybe at a 3. Like, she's barely fluffy at all, actually. I was actually lamenting this morning that I can barely, like, I can barely, like, bury my face in her fur. Ugh. But when is your birthday? At the end of the month. Um, I'm from Brazil. Have you ever been to Brazil? No. I see streamers that don't care about money, but they care about making people happy, you know? Um... Before she talks, I just want to say again that all Twitch streamers do it for the money. They do it for fun. And they do it to hang out with their fans. That's basically why they do Twitch for. Here's the thing. There's a 
there's nobody who doesn't care about money. Because money is the only way that you can get food and shelter and clothing. Yes, people need money for food or clothes or even, well, a house. But they don't need to spend extra on a Twitch streamer when they can just watch for free. They are not obligated to donate a ton of cash to a Twitch streamer. Donations are never required. So anybody who's like, well, I don't care about money, is that's that seems way more distrustful to me than what I do, which is I need your financial support to keep streaming. I'm not going to trick you. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be like, oh, I, I like, no, I don't even stream for the money. Like, I just I don't even stream for the money. No, I think that's a lie. I think that that's more manipulative than me saying, oh, no, I'm definitely here because I want to make money. And I want to, like, roll around in it and then, like, spread the fucking joy to you as well. Yeah. I, I just think that it's... And then anybody who's like, well, I like those streamers who say they're not in it for the money. It's like, oh, but you just you just fed... You just bought their line, hook, line, and sinker. Like, they're being way... They're being way more dishonest with you than I am. Just want to Scrooge McDuck in your gold coins. Ah! The gold coins are not a liquid. They form a solid base. <laughs> No, not all Twitch streamers are dishonest because they really do tell the truth when they really mean, well, that they do not care about the money. They don't do it for money. They don't particularly need it. I mean, again, like I said, Donations are never required. Donations are just a thing that you can donate to somebody. It's not really a necessity of of the way people would need to make money. I mean, Ninja's got plenty of money already. By sponsorship deals and all that. You don't need to really make... To really ask for subs a lot. Even if they're just being generous, they don't have to be entitled to donate to a Twitch streamer. Yeah, yeah. I've often thought if I did Patreon, if I did Snapchat, if I had an OnlyFans, if I had supplementary income outside of streaming for not safe for work content, then I wouldn't ask for so many subs because I'd be like, oh, well, you guys are supporting me by like paying for Patreon and paying for Snapchat and paying for OnlyFans and all those other things. But I don't have that type of content because I'm just not comfortable doing it yet. I just... Like, I'm just obviously not comfortable doing it yet, so it's not going to come. And I guess until I grow up or I mature or I get comfortable with those types of things, I'm just not sure. I just think that I'm going to rely on keeping my clothes on, keeping my wit sharp, and keeping my thighs bared. Some of those streamers already have other jobs, so they don't really need it. Yeah, I mean, I have another job. I, but, I'm, but I'm still here, and if I'm streaming, I can't do another job. That's the thing. So maybe some people who stream are able to do another job while they're doing this, but I can't do voiceover work at the same time as stream, so I have to make a decision. I have to choose, am I going to spend full time searching for auditions, auditioning, going to auditions, um, like taking classes, doing that stuff, or am I going to split my time and do half my time doing that and half my time doing streaming? I thought it would be better not to put all my eggs in just one basket. Yeah, oh boys, we in. Guys, eventually one day I might want to do a sexy adult content. But I decided that in my teens, I did not want to be a teenage mother. So I was really, really careful not to get pregnant when I was in my teens. Then when I was in my 20s, I didn't want my entire work and all of my self-worth to be developed based on how I looked. 
So I didn't want to have a job that was completely dependent on what I looked like. I wanted to work at jobs that were more dependent on what I could do. So I did those types of jobs. But perhaps when I'm in my 30s, I won't feel so bad about making money off my looks. You could be so rich, the coins would just like dissipate into wealth while swimming in the money plus the gold. I mean, maybe? Would you say your attire is chosen to increase the chance of a sub? Um, so are you asking me, are you dressed appropriately for the moment? Yeah. Yeah, I do think I am dressed appropriately for the moment. I imagine that that is one of the greatest things that you guys like about my channel, is that I am always dressed appropriately for that moment. It's, uh, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great opportunity to uh, show off your creativity when you dress for the moment. The people that think your time isn't valuable. Oh, sad times, right? I take my clothes off for certain people for free. Am I supposed to be getting paid this whole time? My girlfriend owes me a lot of money. <laughs> I know you're super sexual initially, but I didn't really think you would ever go that way. I mean, you're an adult and your choices are not whatever saying you don't need to that much seems clear. Um, I'm just not ready to do it myself yet, but I love everyone else who does it. Uh-oh. So what you're saying is we should not sub in order to make a Patreon and OnlyFans to sub there. I'll agree to that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. If you don't have at least $5 for me... You should be, well, I never said if you don't have $5 for me, you should be out there working. I didn't actually say that. Um... But anyways, some people work and struggle and they don't have $5 still. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And they want to enjoy, they just want to enjoy a nice relaxing stream and they don't want to have to pay for it. Totally fine absolutely fine. You're obviously not the person that I was speaking to, but you seem so self-centered that you thought I was talking specifically to you. I wasn't. I was speaking to the group, honey. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your dream car? A unicorn. I would, no car, a unicorn. But then also maybe a Porsche and I love it. Oh, you brought me your bandana. Ooh, now we're throwing the bandana toy. But you did say that. No worst gamer ever. Um, please go back and watch the VOD. I think that's what you heard, and I'm not, I'm not saying that you're wrong. Um, I'm saying that you definitely heard that, but that is not actually what I said. Um, I didn't say if you don't have five dollars for me, you're irresponsible with your money. I believe what I said. But a sub is five dollars. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working. You should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton. It's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy was if you don't have $5 to sub to a Twitch streamer that you watch, you're probably irresponsible with your money and you're mismanaging it because $5 is not a lot of money. And if you get hours of entertainment from something and you can't afford to give $5 back to it, then I think it would not, it would stand to reason that you may be deemed irresponsible with your money. But we're also done having this conversation because it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to change anyone's mind who doesn't want to sub. And everybody who was already motivated through my little speech to sub has already done it. They're probably not going to do it again if I give it again. I'm a Taurus. Yeah, I'm a Taurus. To be honest, I'd really subscribe. I wouldn't have spent all of my freaking money on random crap that I don't need. I'm sorry I can't support you. That's okay, Lexi. You can support me by speaking beautifully in chat, by cracking funny jokes, by telling me your best dad jokes. Thing is, streaming is a bit like a charity, right? Not everyone wants to pay for the local museum, but they still enjoy the content. Yes, streaming is pay what you can. And some people are kind, generous, and decent people. Some people are in a rough spot, and they just simply cannot, but they are still kind, generous, and decent people. And some people are just like, I don't feel like paying for you. I don't feel like paying for this. I just don't feel like it. It takes all sorts. It's the price of a single cup. It's actually less than a cup of coffee because a single Starbucks cup of coffee is about $7 American. I'm so happy you read my comment. Yeah, of course, Lexi. You don't need to put out adult content on Patreon. So if everyone's seen this message, I think it keeps getting deleted. Oh, Vixie, no, you're right. I can do, I can, I don't, I could just do like a Patreon where it's just like regular pictures, of course. It's the same as 
paying for a show you want to see. Those people in the show have a job and give content like this. Well, actually, the difference, Ollie, Trolley Oxen, is that when you watch television, you're paying for the electricity and the cable. You're paying, I mean, in time to watch the advertisements that are sold to you. You're also paying, you know, your own, like, it, it costs. It costs money to watch TV, just like it costs money to create content. Yeah, a cup of coffee plus tip. Oh, you tip when you get, oh, yeah, of course you tip when you get coffee made. Sorry, I don't go to coffee shops that often. I just drink my own tea at home. I used to pay six dollars for Starbucks every day. That's really the that's really the thing. A sub for one month is less than the cost of a cup of coffee. If and and that's it. Anyone who's like, I'm sorry, I cannot afford to sub to you, but I've been watching you for hours is like, it just doesn't track to me. It just doesn't track to me. So saying that it just doesn't track to you, does it mean that you don't want people to not? Donate to you. Because that's exactly what you're saying here. And I don't appreciate that from the likes of it. These thirsty dudes constantly come over to your job and they argue with you why you're not worth it. And then they stay tuned in 24-7. Thanks for always being preppy and positive when I stop by. <laughs> Albert Newberry deserves a sub for that comment. That's really true. Um, it's one of my favorite. One of my ex-boyfriends sent me this amazing meme. Where he was like, incels on the internet are the craziest people to me. I don't especially like mushrooms, but I don't search for pictures of mushrooms, go onto mushrooms channels, like harass mushrooms, follow mushrooms, and then masturbate all over them while I scream how much they suck. Like, it's just so weird to me. Uh, I meant like a live show. I don't know how to explain it on your side. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I think I'm missing that. I don't understand. Would you go to Starbucks and pay for a coffee without getting a coffee? So what you're saying that if you sub to me, you don't get to actually physically own me? So it's not worth it? Do you think that people are ownable? Thank you, Thingy. Thank you. I like magic mushrooms. I've never watched a person that's so nice to people that they don't even know. Wow, you are so nice. Not all the time. Don't worry. Eventually, I will snap back really, really hard. But maybe not today. I like maybe not today. Excellent part of my time tuning in. All I heard was masturbating on mushrooms. Um, yeah, yeah, just jerking it. Just jerking it. The great thing to the great thing to me about this is any person who is arguing with me right now about well, they're not because they're they're being disrespectful and getting their comments deleted. But anyone who was trying to argue with me just a moment ago about why you should sub to a Twitch streamer clicked on my channel. Like <laughs> FYI guys, you clicked on my channel. But you clicked on my channel. If you didn't want to hear me ask for subs, you probably shouldn't have clicked on my channel. You should go click on, you should go, you should go click on other people's channels and then listen to them ask you for money. <laughs> Thank you, Demios. You know, a wise man once said this. I couldn't find the video, but he said somewhere around the lines like, donations are always appreciated, but never required. And so, therefore, Invader V is only requiring you to donate to your stream when you're not obligated to. And if you're not obligated to, you don't need to. But she's only requiring you to. Which is why then they won't be appreciated if she only wants you to give her money. Just like this girl from a year ago did. Yeah, bad money. She only wants money. That's all she actually cares about. And for me to go out and say that she only cares about money too, just seems strange.